Welcome to your daily motivation and inspiration with Dan, where I simplif- oversimplify life and help you become your highest and best self. And today, I'm going to talk about what you shouldn't forget, because it's easy to forget. Especially now that we have these phones. We're always on them, and there's always something happening, and we're always on the go, and there's never-ending questions and things to look at and things to do and so we've gotten into this FOMO type lifestyle which is fear of missing out when in truth you know there's going to be something that we will miss sometimes and there's going to be things that we don't even need to see but I just want you to recognize that if you're letting that fear of missing out and your phone and people asking you things or telling you about themselves get in your way, I'm suggesting, really strongly suggesting that you need to carve out some time for yourself. You need to have a little bit of personal time every single day and put it in your calendar, take time out for yourself. Otherwise, you're going to get preoccupied with whatever else is going on and the world is going to throw you all sorts of opportunities to get distracted and focus on things that might not even matter. And especially if it's your friend showing you what they're eating you know, and, or what they're making or something like that. I mean, it's all entertainment. That's what it is in the end. But if you're going to have a brain-heart coherence, you need to do some things for yourself. And you need to take time out for yourself. The morning is, is the best time if you're going to take time out for yourself because it's quiet, there's less distraction, and you can also um, just, you can get your focus because your willpower is really high. So if you get up early in the morning, like I do, you can do some practices. You might do a meditation or do some yoga, or do some exercise. Just do something that gives you pleasure and makes you feel good. Because ultimately, if you don't, guess what? Other people aren't going to help you feel good, not naturally anyway. I mean, maybe children, but most times you have to take a little bit of time out for yourself, do what's good for you, help yourself to feel good. Because if you don't, day after day after day after day, you will find other things to look at and to do, and that will preoccupy you, and then you'll get lost in that minutia. And next thing you know, you're months later, and you're wondering where your life is going. So taking pause, taking a pause and taking some time out for yourself really matters. It does because it helps you to get clarity and focus. And like I'm saying, you know, you might not understand what I'm saying about brain heart coherence, but our heart has neurons just like our mind does. And that's why you say, you know, uh, we feel it in our heart because we can actually receive guidance from those neurons in our heart. And there is a lot of, there's heart math, there's different studies that show how you can have this harmony and coherence with your heart. And I suggest if you are going to take time out for yourself, try to align your mind with your heart with appreciation, gratitude, caring, and compassion. Appreciation, gratitude, caring, and compassion. And that will make a huge difference for you and your life and the world. So hopefully you got some value out of this. If you did, leave a comment. Otherwise, I'll see you on my next video. But remember first to help eliminate and eradicate mental blindness disease by thinking differently and doing different things today. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video.